What country rebelled the most? Why did the United States want to annex Hawaii? Yeah. Okay. What did Teddy Roosevelt do with the Panama Canal? The purpose is to, to get them thinking, to get them questioning what do I know about the subject. And the great thing about working in groups is that if you come up with a question, that may generate um, a whole new line of thinking from me, then, then I can add an additional question that may generate another line of thinking from somebody else. Who was the biggest anti-imperialist? Yeah, it could be Kozik. Actually, all of these could go either way. Why is it so important for America to have overseas bases open? Yeah. Open. It covers a wide variety of what happened in the imperialistic era. You can ask one main question and then build questions off of that question and it makes you think more and you have to pull stuff out of your brain and when you do that you have to remember it again and the more you take it out and remember it again the deeper it gets into your brain and the more easier it is to remember. You never really know what you know about the subject until you see it from others and your own point of view. And, um, you know, I think that's one of the great things about using the question formation technique is it's a, just automatic engagement for the students because they're interested in it, they get to view their voice, um, their opinions, their thoughts, and their questions. <laughs>